the hoover. Yeah, you found this morning. Oh, <laughs> it's me. Hi. Not that you should be following up with people on social media, but in this era, it's pretty easy to compare, especially when it comes to your accomplishment in your age bracket. That's the thing about social media that's very disconcerting. Sometimes you look and you wonder what you're really doing with your life, but then you have to remember. Some people are tell lies. Shade, shady. Anyway, our producer has given us eight reasons. And Jordan says she travel a lot. That we may be stuck and not advancing. Stuck like Irk. Stuck like not advancing. Bubble gum to the bottom of your shoes. I was gonna say in the mud, but that works better. Yes. All right. Why are we stuck, lady? Number one. You spend too much time with negative people. Yes. There is nothing you can do. Let me tell you, there are some people, them get up in the morning, them drink Cersei. Bitter. Lunch time, them drink single Bible. Bitter. And by night time, is, is, is where they They bitter in the morning, bitter in the evening. Avoid All them. over this land. There is nothing you can do that will please them. If you cut your ear, them say, why am I grow your ear? You grow your ear, them say, that style enough not fit you. <laughs> you have on something, them say, me not think you look good for you. You put, you, uh, shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake what Dale is saying in English is, when you spend a lot of time with negative people, Jeez, I'm all that just negative talk about the energy has an impact on your own life. Don't yes. spend the time dwelling on every negative aspect of your life. It will put you in a dark place that's hard to get out of. Instead, try to find the best in every situation. If your life is overrun with negative people, Usher Run them, them out. out. Because them you will spend more, uh, you spend so much time trying to counter negativity that could have been put in moving you forward. Worse, if you don't strong, if you don't strong, you know, you have that friend or them friends always in the ears telling you what is wrong, what is wrong. Mm -hmm. You mash up yourself. Yeah, man. Comparing yourself to others. I'm going to Aubrey. Very serious. Number two, comparing yourself to others. Yeah. You're not really competing with anybody, hmm. right? You have your own goals, you have your own road to travel, you have your own choices to make, your own circumstances to live, your own things to go through. Sometimes your job is fall down. Sometimes you get up eight, you keep brush off self, keep on moving. Because ain't nobody that ain't never fail. Even the one tell you they never buck their toe and they never drop and they, yes. Everybody has a story. It's just that they don't tell you their story. But they also, tell you everything is rosy and they're always well quaffed and always smell nice and things are always going on in their life that are great. Yes, you ma. don't know what's going on underneath there. You love for, you, you, you're so comfortable <clears throat> driving a car, but you see somebody drive an SUV. So you run, go buy one SUV. And someone who drive SUV, you don't know if you drive SUV, you don't miss you on the road, you know? On a, on a scraper up his side. But I don't even know if it's their zone, Dales. You see that? On a no 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 <clears throat> park. And the SUV a bat on no but so. Do not mm -hmm. compare. If you try to compare yourself to other people, never you will measure never measure You will never measure up. Yeah. Don't try to look like other people. Yeah. Don't try to have what them have. Do your thing. You gotta just be good with you. Can you yes. put yourself under that pressure to be like them and you can't manage it? You're gonna pop down anyway, guys. Set your own goals. Especially the social media thing. You have to be so careful. You're scrolling and you're looking through these pictures with people who just always look like... They didn't wake up like that. They did not wake up like that. Believe me. And that is in an instant. It's a snapshot in time. People will have you believe this is their life. It's not. I was saying don't to some get kids, into that me, fake reality. I was saying to some kids about social media management and, and how you 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 you, you limit the pressure. time you spend on screen. And I said to them, it takes the person two minutes to take a photo, mm -hmm. maybe two seconds, mm -hmm. and you spend two days a look on it and a mall. Me said the person take two minutes. Take the photo. Big it up gonna and I work. Look gonna work. Gonna work. Gonna earn the no. money to pay for the car no. that them was supposed to beside and to put gas in it. And you spend two days if it's looking at this car. picture and say, this car look nice. See? It's altered reality, I want them guys. Could, and you type on anything, love your car. Mm -hmm. And then somebody reply, and you spend two days right about this mm -hmm. car. Go work up mm -hmm. for buy the car. <clears throat> Third kind of thing that will make you get stuck like bubblegum under somebody's shoes according to Dales, is loving others more than you love yourself. Hallelujah. Ain't no martyrs. Gandhi's gone. Mother Teresa is gone. Just 
So you got to just live for you guys. Well, the Bible, not even the Bible tell you to love people more than yourself. It just says, look, as you love yourself. I mean, that's why when you're on the plane, the flight attendant tells you you got to put the mask over your face first, the oxygen mask, and then over the kids or whomever you're traveling with. Yeah. You got to save yourself. Self-preservation is yeah. the highest yeah order because if you don't love yourself and take care of yourself you are of no use to anybody yeah. else i like what this says it says um we need to learn to love ourselves before we can truly love others mm -hmm. so that's important mm -hmm. you will never be happy until you can accept yourself and love yourself mm -hmm. you are the person that you spend the most time with you need to accept that you're a good person and you deserve to be loved yeah because if you don't love yourself, you'll never ever believe that somebody loves you. And people will always be able to take advantage of correct, you. Correct, correct. If you're correct. not solid and understand and love Usher yourself. Usher them how. Putting your needs second, um, which ties into a little bit of what mm -hmm. we just said. Put your needs second, or put your needs second. If you have JPS, you go pay, do not bother make them put your picture in the paper. <laughs> go pay JPS, <laughs> now take it and give Marvin. <laughs> the Marvin go pay in care alone and then your light cut off. And then you don't want to keep your drive. You <laughs> You, well, if you like, cut off a meat for come for you and carry your also also I'm lighting if you iron your clothes to go work. It will bring candles, you know, Marvin. <laughs> All right, you have self-imposed expectations. All right. Perfection, I get this. Yeah. Um, perfection does not exist, so you strive for what's doable and you strive for what's attainable, but hmm. don't put the bar so high that you know, set them? yourself up, you know, to fail. Yes, ma'am. You haven't set goals or dreams. So you have nothing working towards. Mm -hmm. So you kind of get up every day, but you're aimless. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you don't know, am I saving to do this? Am I working towards that? It's great to set goals and to set them um, short, medium, and long term. Yep. And smart. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know. Because sometimes we set, we set all long term, and we always, and we always, uh, and we can't get there. <laughs> Look like Landia, because we have long -term. turn down new experiences. It's, it's important. important to experience new things that you miss out on wonderful opportunities. That's right. And do not procrastinate. Yeah. If you have something to go do, do it. Do it. Yeah. Those I, are eight I, good I, reasons, man. And, 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 and nine good reasons is, look here, if you're dead for hungry. People always say, I need motivation to go to work. Mr. Dead for hungry, motivate me. I'm paying my bills, motivate me. Well, I mean, I tell you, no, like, I have something to do yesterday and I couldn't find the motivation, but my ad was to get it done. Oh. What do you say? Your mind. Yes, very important. Yeah, man. When I think about the bills, then I say, oh, my motivation. Yes! And I say, Dina, you got them be up, girl. I have energy for girl talk. I say, wah, make young girl talk all morning. Because she got to eat. Good morning, Mr. JPS and Mr. NWC. All right, ladies, that's for you. Well, girl talk this really could really have been man talk as well. So, because it was a general tip. Dear Marvin. But that's it for us for this morning. We're heading to news. So, um, thank you for sticking around for that. Raquel is next.